Hey everybody, it's Brian here from the Dungeon Cast. We are going off of our regular recording schedule this week to bring you a teaser trailer of our latest Patreon project. It's called The Vault Raiders and the Cult of the Dread Star. It's a direct continuation of a game that we played called The Vault Raiders and the Isle of Dread, which is also featured on our Patreon. Both those games are in our $5 tier. Uh, I think that's probably our best buy. It comes with The Vault Raiders audio and video. It comes with early episodes. You get show notes. You get a shout out on, on the show during our short rest. So if you guys are interested, uh, you can find us on patreon.com slash the dungeon cast. I also wanted to take this opportunity to say a special thank you to all of our patrons and to the rest of our listeners for checking out our content, listening to the show, hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Those things really help us a lot. And you guys have been so supportive and so excellent. So um, without further ado, I want to leave you to this section of the adventure. It's right in the middle of everything that we do in the game, but I feel like you don't really need uh, the surrounding pieces to enjoy this uh, out of context. So thank you very much. And I hope you guys enjoy. See you later. I'm gonna get as close as I can until I can see them. Okay, let's say you peek out of the out of the woods, um, and what you see is actually a huge clearing. There seem to be um, some ruins here, ruins here of like an old ancient elven civilization. But most, all all the buildings save one are completely uh, demolished. Okay. Um, there's one giant like dome shaped building with a huge doorway, but. More than that, what you see is this bizarre shanty town of like tents and shacks that have been built up, um, and there's enough of them to house like at least two hundred people. Okay. And all amongst these town, this this shanty town, if you will, are cult members, all dressed up in similar uniforms to what you guys saw in your bag, Ooh. and they're all like partying and drinking and. Smoking and you hear yelling and screaming and you note that all of them are really young. Like they're all at an age group of like fourteen to eighteen. Interesting. One of them has invented a motorhome with the with the thing we're trying to get. And they're driving a house around the outside. <laughs> and give me a perception check. Or investigation, whichever is better. Fucking bad. Seven? Oh wait, do I still have guidance or is that no, I was just part of the one? Okay. Seven. Yeah, that's all that's all you notice. Okay. And you see, like, some of them are, like, just sleeping in the middle of, like, the grass or on a rock. Um, like, it's yeah. It's Rumspringer. Yeah, it's Rumspringer. Yeah, it, it, this is like, it's like you rolled into some teenage wasteland. Oh, my God. All right, I'll, uh, I'll get back to my compatriots <laughs> yeah. if I can. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. It's Rumspringer over there, guys. There's some, there's some kids, and they're just partying right now. God damn hippies. Yeah. <laughs> Says the druid. <laughs> yeah, there is. Uh, I think... I think we should take our drinks now and go crash this party. Bowser's just going to look at it both of them and not say anything. Because he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> I also don't want to do yeah, it. That's what you were hired for. I know, Giselle, yeah, but he still doesn't want to do it. What Giselle though. really wants to do is get up in the tallest tree and and <laughs> jump out of it and use her bonus action to wild shape on her way down. <laughs> I mean, we hippies. can go loud by all means. All we got to do is get this engine back. I'm just saying we can try to... I mean, there uh, are hundreds of them. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I will also tell them there are... At least 200 That's more of his teens, though. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what a bunch of teens can do against a bear shark. That's more hippies than I've ever had to deal with. Maybe we should just take the juice. I mean, I, I'm, I suggest the juice. I feel like for narrative, we should take the juice. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, too. So, yeah. So, he's just going to shake his head and then just pull out the, start pulling out the uniforms and the vials like, back out of the backpack again. Let's do it. I hope I didn't actually get accidentally get cat hair in my polyjuice potion. <laughs> so you guys, of course, I take it. It's just a single shot. Yeah. Uh, it's black. Uh, it's Bowser waits. He wants to. He's gonna watch those two do it first before he does it. Okay. He, just, he doesn't you, trust. You guys just go ahead with it. Yeah. Bottoms up. Yes. All right. It, it tastes horrible. At first, nothing happens, and then I suddenly. Like the two of you begin to shrink a little bit. Uh, and Matthias, you 
Well, both of you, you begin to de-age, if you will. <laughs> and before <laughs> Malasar... Like <laughs> <laughs> before your eyes, Malasar, yeah. these two full-grown adventuring people that you know so well have morphed into their teen selves. Oh, wow. Malasar's going to bust out laughing. It's <laughs> <laughs> just going to be like, oh, oh, like fucking yes. racist <laughs> <laughs> like, <"Hey>, oh, <laughs> You guys just see yourselves right now. <laughs> my armpit braids are really short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. My glory. <laughs> it has been taken from me. Okay. Oh. So after he's done laughing, Balazar will pop the cork. And you guys see the same thing happen to Balazar. And now all your clothes are too big, the ones that you have on. Um, yeah, do you guys want to describe to me what Teen Giselle and Teen Balazar all look like? I think Matthias gave his little description. I sure did. <laughs> yeah. How far back did I age? Because um, I'm a dwarf. Okay, let's start with Matthias. Matthias, you're like 16 now. Like 16? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, okay. Giselle, how old were you? That's a great question, Will. <laughs> <laughs> how old does she look in human years? Let's call it... 50 years. Not looking. Not your question. The one okay. before. Okay. Let's call Giselle. So that's like real young, dude. That means that you're like... 54 years old. So you're like... Eight, you were already young as shit. You were already 20 years old. And you and you... I, yeah, sure. Okay. But like... You're, I'm 50 years old. Though. Okay, but now Ish. you, no, you look 10. the equivalent... I feel like we said this in the last adventure. Maybe no, like, I never asked for you guys' age. Are you sure it wasn't... Se- I have like 70 in my head, but it's somewhere in between 50 and 70. That's... Close enough. Okay. You are now 14. <laughs> yeah, like I said, my armpit hairs are shorter, but <laughs> yeah. it's pretty much the same deal going on. Okay. Just a softer, like, my sunburn maybe went away. My yeah, My heart sure. sunburn. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, like, a good seven inches shorter. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> Maybe I'm a dwarf. Damn. Yeah, but you're now a you're a teen dwarf. dwarf. Oh god, I don't want to be smaller. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so be ba- it. Balasar, how old were you? Uh, probably like 30, 31. Okay, so you're 16 as well. Okay. I imagine Balasar is like thinner and lankier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He's not small at all. He's going to say he has small arms, and he's going to forget, and he's going to touch him like, Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh god! <laughs> Voice voice cracks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, you guys can probably fit in those uniforms now. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah I'll I'll Bowser, Bowser will slip on the other uniform. Yeah. Oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> didn't sign up for this. You guys have four hours, by the way, of this. Discussion. Were there yeah. boots uh, huh? with this? There were boots, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, boots, boots and, and leather pants, and for you, like a leather shirt with a flared out collar. And Maddie, did you see anybody not wearing boots? Any hippies in the grass? Did I see any hippies? Uh, you don't. You you remember mostly boots. Uh, I everybody had. There boots was like on. one guy asleep, and he had one boot missing. <laughs> yeah, some guy got his <laughs> boots stolen. I don't know what happened. I don't want to wear these damn boots. Just put your boots on. Oh, okay. come on. Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you guys all look like proper cultist members. <laughs> Sick. So now what do you do? Uh, I'll just direct us back to back to the party. Yeah. And you're like, all right, guys, it was raging. We got a. <laughs> so I have a question. Yeah, so I did. Should I not be taking my shield and my weapon then? I mean, if I'm trying to blend in, you know, can I? Um, you, uh, Matthias, he saw that like they they had weapons and stuff. Yeah. Okay, like, so remember they they've been stealing and they've been oh, stealing okay, weapons. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, stay stay kid up. We might. What kind of weapons do you guys have? I forgot. Yeah, Remind me. A flail and a shield. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's pretty cool. Fuck. Very uh, cool. <laughs> I picked. Uh, I picked a long sword. Just a long sword. Just a long sword and a shield. Okay. And a shield, a buckler, yeah. and you got your staff. Right? I have a staff of snaking. <laughs> you got your snake staff. Very cool. Okay, so yeah, what do you guys do? You guys are now at the edge. You now see the the same thing Matthias saw. As a matter of fact, both of you two roll perception, please. Um, before that, do you remember what weapon I had before I got my snake staff? Um, you had your totem. Is all you had. I probably still have that. Yeah, sure. Just as like a backup, like I probably just use it as a walking stick and have the staff like at my ready. I guess I'm not sure. Know. I've got those two things. Let's do the thing. Let's perception, the thing. please. Fourteen. God, I'm so glad it's a perception, but this time it's a goddamn eleven. Okay, so Balasar, you're pretty good. You're good at strategy and surveying mm-hmm. your enemy and whatnot, and you see all the things that Matthias told you about. Um, 
but you see that in front of the main dome building, which is obviously an ancient elven architecture kind of deal, mm. uh, there are three really burly dudes in cult-like attire. And these guys are not teenagers. These guys are probably just, they're full-grown men. But you can't tell how old they really are because all three of their faces are covered in, like, executioner hoods. Okay. And they're all sure. wielding great weapons. And they, they're all standing there with their arms crossed like this, just staring at, surveying the, the party. Uh, <laughs> How far is that uh, from where we're at? From where you're at, that's probably uh, 300 feet. Okay. Yeah. And we have to walk through the whole crowd. Like the middle yeah, crowd. it's on the yeah. other side of it all. So, yeah. So the there's a big building of Elvic, Elven fashion behind them but what is the can we like see beyond them through like a doorway or something there, there's a big uh stone doorway it's closed oh, right yeah, behind okay. them yeah and they're they're obviously guarding they're standing in front of them yeah do they have a like a goddamn hippies vibe going on <laughs> uh they look like they look like evil cult members compared, <laughs> i mean they all kind of do uh, cause they're all in black leather and spikes and whatnot, uh, but these guys look menacing okay. compared to the, the wild partying teens. Mm. I think those, oh, I didn't, I don't see it, right? Cause my previous perception was garbage. Uh, yeah, you didn't see shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, there's some, there's kids. What are we, what are we thinking of, everybody? Hail Satan. Hail Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. Yeah, I know. I know you're not. <laughs> Hildred stuff. Yeah, what, are we, <laughs> what are we doing here? We're looking for the thing. Yes, <clears throat> and we're infiltrating. Okay, let's right. ask one of these more uh, wasted hippies where the thing is. There we go. Let's see what they think. Away from the men. Uh, yeah. Let's get. Let's stay on the outskirts of the party, and ask one of these hippies where the thing might be. I'm, I'm are they all drinking? Out. Like have drinks in their hands? Yeah, most of these guys are drinking. A lot of people are wasted. There's a keg in like a mini pool. Oh yeah. Like, well, actually, flies. you rolled. You rolled a fourteen. Yeah. Let's let's describe this. Oh, yeah. So everything I described, obviously, mm. but you see some more like sectioned off zones, if you will. Okay. There seems to be a section with a bunch of uh, teens all around these like makeshift tables, and they got these cups out. And, like, they're throwing balls and they're playing beer pong. Okay. <laughs> and then there's another section with just lines of kegs and just people in there partying and, like, guzzling out of the keg and just going crazy. Right. Got to reckon it for mead pong. Me, well, no, I call it ale ball. Ale ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, there seems to be... Um, there's a really long line. Can on I roll the... history to see if I know what ale ball is? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Yes. I'll do, Thank I'll you, do it Will. Too. Yeah. Eleven plus. I'm sure I've. Here's my history? history. Yeah, it's eleven. Yeah, thirteen. Yeah. Ooh. Fifteen. None of you are aware of what they're playing. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> there, there's a long this line, shit? like a long queue of people. On the left-hand side of the building, uh, all lining up to, like, there's these weird metal vats that seem to be steaming, and there's, like, a goblin sitting cross-legged on a stool, and he's, like, dunking things in these vats, okay. and people are lined up. <laughs> there's a there's another station where they've got the they've got the engine going, and they're using it uh, to, like, fuel a blender, and they're making margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> That's a gross um, of that. Like, let me pour you a Dread Star margarita. There is, there is also, seems to be a section that's just piles of boxes and barrels and stuff. It, it seems like they're stash pile. Oh. Well, I want to see if I, I like that. Snag, snag. <laughs> That's what I was looking. Like, yeah. I want to snag a drink from somewhere. See there. Okay. Okay. So you guys are on the outskirts. So you yeah. want to go into I want, town? I'm gonna start walking in. Yeah. Oh shit! Battle starts going in, guys. What do you guys do? Um, I follow him because I'm super uncomfortable in social situations like this. <laughs> okay. I tag along closely. Okay. I'll, I'll go. All right. Yeah. You guys go in and and no one gives you a second look. Yeah. I'm just gonna be like. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you play music? Uh, yeah, there's some people playing music, but uh, it's, Regardless it's of rather music. bad. Yeah. 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 As you guys are like dancing down the street, uh, there's like a there's like a girl with like a <laughs> mug of ale, and she's like, "Whoa, ale twister!" And then everyone else is like, "Yeah!" And yeah. All right, so what do you have to? I still want to find a drink. Yeah, yeah, that's so, gotta happen. So, uh, what, what's yeah. the spot, spot that I can see that I might be able to snag a drink? Okay, you, uh, I'm gonna start talking to wasted girl. 
I'll see. Okay, let's... Valisar, you, you noted the area with all the kegs, so you probably go over there. And yeah, I'll head over there, yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you go over there, and there is a bunch of people kind of standing in, the circle, in a circle, and uh, they got two kegs. Like, you got a, a line of kegs, but in okay. this circle, they, they pulled out two, two kegs. Okay. And there's, like, three people holding a girl under a keg and three people holding a dude under a keg, and they're just having a contest of who, who can guzzle the most before nice. going down. And everyone's cheering and, and crying. But, yeah, you could totally grab a cup and just pour cool. a keg, no problem. Do that real quick. All right, you do that while they're doing I'm not going to drink it. I want to inspect it before I drink, but, yeah, I'll okay. be doing that. So. All right, you want to talk to Wasted Girl. Yeah, I, first hair. I want to roll, from that short interaction, can I roll an insight check to see if she's really wasted? Yeah, go for it. Okay. I got a plus three to that. So that's a 22. Or no, I'm sorry. That's a 13. I thought yeah, I read she's, a number that wasn't there. She's trash, dude. Good. <laughs> hey, girl. I'm, I'm wasted, too. <laughs> Ooh, this is the best. This is a great party. Hell, Dreadstar. Yeah, Dreadstar's the best, man. I forgot why we're here. The ritual. The oh, ritual, right, girl. The ritual, man. Oh. It's gonna, they say it's going to be the biggest one ever. I know, right? <laughs> There's so many of us here. Oh, man, I wish I could get inside. Is that where it's going on? I was wondering where I was supposed to go. Yeah, they're throwing a private oh, one for the elites right. only We're tonight. In there. Weird, huh? Elites only. They got windows up in that place? No. I want to look in there. No, there's no windows. Is there a chimney? <laughs> what? Hey, can I crawl in there? I want to see Who are you? <laughs> My name's... You know me. We've been hanging out for days, at least. Oh, Let me get really? you another drink. Well, all right. <laughs> and I, I, I'm i going to stealth out. Uh, cool. <laughs> See you when you get back. Hey, yeah, you will, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happens. Matthias, what the fuck are you doing? Jesus. Uh, I wanted I'm going to find this guy, Balzar. I wanted to also get a drink, so I was going to go with Balzar. Okay, so you guys are uh, surveying the area. Yes. And thing. Yes. Um, you see that uh, the the girl just took the the guy. He immediately starts flailing. And they pull him out. He just starts vomiting, and the oh. girl totally just demolishes him. Uh, and everyone's cheering and whatnot. Get that guy and a piece of bread. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> as uh, as you guys are sitting there, kind of watching the scene, this uh, young halfling boy uh, with like blonde hair, kind of over one eye. Oh. Uh, uh, you guys knew. Nice to meet you. My name's Tommy. What up, Tommy? And you, he, hold, he holds his hand up to shake. I'm Bow. Uh, nice to meet you, Bow. What's uh, your name? Maddie, how's it going? Oh, Maddie, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. You guys are new, huh? Work. I don't we recognize are. your faces. It's, you know, it's our first whatever. What What is this? It's a well, ritual, we bro. Yeah, the, you remember the ritual? I'm just here to drink, man. Upper elite stuff. Oh, uh, Another new face. Yeah. So I take you guys are pilgrims, huh? You heard about the ritual tonight. We did, we did yeah. yeah. We heard it was real cool. Oh, yeah, it's exciting yeah, I, stuff, I man. we could come here to get wasted? Oh, dude, we are in the keg zone, bro. <laughs> oh, no, it's the keg yeah. zone. Oh, yeah. yeah. What else oh, would you man. be doing here? That's true, that's true. Um, <laughs> when, what's, what's going on with this ritual? When is it? No one knows, man. They just say it's going to be the biggest one ever. <sighs> and they're, they're doing a, a private one for the elites tonight. A, a mini ritual? A no, little ritual? No, they're doing the full, the full real oh, deal. Um, real deal. You know dude. how our rituals are, man. They're yeah, crazy. I'd love sick. to see that one. I was love to be in there. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Strippers, bro? Yeah. Is that how you do it? So We're wasted. What sect, what sect are you guys from? <laughs> oh, the one that the one down there. Oh, right. Oh, the one down south. The one huh? down there. Hey, yeah, yeah, you guys yeah, got yeah, strippers down there. there. What? Yeah. You gotta check it out. You gotta you gotta go to the one man. It's what sect are you I like from, I like being here. I like being here at the home base. The name's Tommy, bro. <laughs> What? <laughs> Can't hear you over the music. <laughs> it's the <laughs> music. <laughs> <laughs> Start turning like... <laughs> <laughs> Just like... Awkwardly like, sliding away. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Thanks, Tommy. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Let's stay real. Let's stay real. So, Giselle, you leave. Do, do all of you leave? 
<laughs> I'm not good at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gone too. I just like go make my way back to like a keg or something. I'm gonna so, wherever you got a drink. That's where I'm, that's where I'm bibbing and bobbing down to. All right, so Giselle, you wander off. I don't know how to describe for for audio listeners what I just did with my hands. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. true. Um, Hopefully, you check out YouTube it. if you're really curious. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, and then Tommy Tommy turns to the YouTube. He's like, so... He turns to YouTube? No, <laughs> he turns to <laughs> Matthias and Balasar. Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah, he's yeah. saying, well, there's a rumor going around that you might be able to... That that non-elites might be able to get what? into the into the ritual tonight. Oh, do you, yeah. know? Do you know how to do it? How do we do it? <gasps> we gotta yeah, get into it. There's some stuff going on right now. You fucker. <laughs> Your friend's weird, pal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell me about it. We've been There's doing too many of these, yeah. man. Yeah, we've oh, been, been, been there. I've been there before. I pregame pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. I think she had some, some shrooms. She she had some I was looking for windows. I was trying to ask some girl about windows, but now you're saying I can just get in. Shh, man. That shit can't let me know. I'm sorry, Bradley. Sorry. On that download. <clears throat> well, there's a tradition in the cult. I mean, I don't know why I'm telling you guys. You should know this, but you can always challenge an elite, and if they take you up on your challenge, you can challenge them for their elite badge. That's bullshit. They didn't tell me that in orientation. <laughs> I didn't really. I missed oh, that in the man. pamphlet. They don't, oh, man. Out, they don't tell you that. No, they don't. It must be a secret procedure. They're too occupied Damn. with the strippers, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. It's so. infrastructure dedicated to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, different policies for different sex. Right. I get that's it, bro. Right. I get right. it. That's right. But, um, it, it would appear that most of the elites have gone inside. There's only a few left around. Ooh. And quite frankly, most of them aren't too keen to challenge anybody in anything. And even if they did, they're elites, man. There's a reason they're elites. I mean, who... who Bradley, who's how elites long, be? How long have you been in the cult, Bradley? Um, you know, I'm not quite a rookie, man, but it's been almost a year. That's a long time. I guess, I guess it has. I hate you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, tell me, who, who, who are these elites? Where are they? Where can we find these guys? I don't know. They're around here somewhere. They're around? Is... But here's my problem, guys. Look what at me. I'm shit? a little guy. I can't yeah. challenge anybody. Yeah, how old are you, Bradley? I'm well, we can... What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but we can talk. Bradley, you, you a human? I'm a dwarf. What's going on? <laughs> are you flirting with him? Give me a persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> Give me a charisma roll. <laughs> What do you roll? A two with a minus one. Uh, Is that what that says? It might be a seven. Oh, know. that's a seven. That's a six. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Sorry. I actually swing for the other team. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I, just, I was asking some questions. Oh, I'll be honest. That's why I walked over to you. <laughs> <laughs> Matthias here. Okay, no, Matthias is pretty handsome. But oh. that aside, I'm a little guy. It's true. I'd be willing to team up with you dudes if I could pick out a, an elite that's more keen to, to get... To take us up on our challenge. Would would we all be able to get in, or would it just be you? <clears throat> like, how's this work? Are we we gonna need to tag need... team this thing. Is it like the five have... versus one guy? Gross. I haven't thought this plan through. All, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's all right, do this one step at a time. Let me just find an lead. Let's we'll give go from you some space, Bradley. You can flesh out your NPC life while we go <laughs> get some more dreams. Yeah, just let me know. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah. Later. And he wanders <laughs> off. Guys, I, I think it's Tommy, not Bradley. Or well, whatever. I don't even. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> We're gonna have to kill Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> Dungeon Cast.